former Ghana Black Stars midfielder Kojo Asamoa has retired. He made it official on his social media handle. We're going to look at the announcement and a look back at an illustrious career for a young man at the age of 33. We'll look at Kojo Asamoa and what he has done in the Black Stars jersey and for the clubs he has played for in the past. We're also going to talk about Daniel Kofitre, who in an interview revealed uh, his expectations for Ghana at the Qatar 2022 World Cup. He's of the opinion an African team will one day win the World Cup. And uh, how far Ghana will go, we'll listen to what he had to say. Kudus Mohamed as well, after scoring last night, he revealed what exactly his coach told him uh, that made him stay. After interest from Everton and pushing for a move was what was all on his mind. One statement the coach made to him, and probably this was what convinced him to stay. We'll look at all that today. As usual, subscribe if you have not. Uh, click on the notification bell to get more updates. We'll start off from the camp of Kudra Samwa, who has hanged his boots and looking to focus on his next phase of his career, which has to do with being a player agent. Uh, the former Ghana Black Stars regular has finally uh, called time on his footballing career. The midfielder who also play as a left wing back is hanging his boots after playing in the top level for more than a decade. He holds the record as the highest appearance African maker in the Serie A. After a meeting with his agent, uh, Pastorello, uh, following the decision to retire, Kujia Samoa took to social media to post amazing time. Always a pleasure uh, working with you, Federico Pastorello. Uh, the football agent is a post of his own. I uh, wish the Ghanaian the best of luck in his next adventure as a football agent. Always the same amazing boy, Kujia Samoa. Good luck he posted interesting interesting retirement after 17 years as a professional footballer Kojo Asamoa has announced his retirement from the game with his illustrious career to an end after a meeting with his agent this was finalized he played for Torino with Denise Juventus Inter Milan Cagliari during his decade-long stay in the Italian top flight in his national team, Kojo uh, played 74 times for the Ghana Black Stars, scored four goals and featured in the 2010 World Cup in South Africa and Brazil 2014. After announcing his retirement from the game, Kojo Asamoa has now become a football agent. Uh, full time, that is what his focus uh, will be on. Interesting. Congratulations to Kojo Asamoa, such an illustrious career. Uh, such a blistering beautiful player i have to say he did well in the colors of the ghana black stars when he had the chance especially in the 2010 afcon and also in the 2010 world cup he was instrumental in ghana's success in both competitions we wish him all the very best what will you miss most about kujua samoa as he hangs his boots today let me know in the comments box my next story has to do with daniel kofitre who says uh, the Black Stars will win the World Cup one day. Uh, the Black Stars midfielder is confident an African country is capable of winning the FIFA World Cup and has tipped Ghana to achieve that feat. The closest Ghana has come is in, was in 2010 uh, during the World Cup in South Africa where Milovan Rajavak side reached the quarter-final stage while the 2006 and 2014 editions saw them exit in the round of 16th and group stage respectively. The Black Stars will be making a return to the Mundial to be staged in Qatar after missing out on Russia 2018. Uh, Tre, when quizzed on G by GQ South Africa about the possibility of an African team winning the World Cup, said yes, Ghana will receive the World Cup trophy one day. The tournament in Qatar will be the Freiburg midfielder's second tournament with the Black Stars after uh, the mishap and uh, disgraceful AFCON. 2021 in Cameroon. Speaking on his expectations for the tournament, he added, I anticipate a fan tournament and I expect us to represent our country to the best of our abilities, demonstrating to the world that we can compete with anyone. Treb made his debut for the Black Stars in 2021 during a World Cup qualifier game against Ethiopia, coming on in the 28th minute of the fixture. He was one of our brightest sparks at AFCON 2021, uh, Dark Afcon 2021, and uh, he has uh, optimistic as 
anyone should be going to the World Cup. Uh, there's also so much doom and gloom uh, surrounding the Black Stars and uh, looking at how we've not uh, settled on a shape or system which will be taken to the tournament. Uh, he is optimistic and believes an African country can win it. That African country can surely be the Black Stars. Uh, hopefully, it will be in this generation. We'll see what happens on that front. But those high expectations, a fun tournament, uh, a tournament that will live long in our memories, we hope. My next story has to do with Ajax and Kudus Mohamed. Uh, Coach Alfred Shredder has revealed uh, that it took some persuasion to convince Kudus Mohamed to stay with them. It's very clear that Kudus wanted to leave Ajax into Everton. As the interest from Everton grew and Kudus's lack of playing time was something on his mind. The 22-year-old was on the verge of joining the English outfit Everton after agreeing personal terms with the Toffees. And that, however, uh, the Dutch champions blocked the move, uh, ensuring uh, the Ghana midfielder stayed beyond the transfer window. The decision has paid off with the Ghanaian uh, Kudus Mohamed scoring seven goals since the close of the window. And during the period that Everton wanted him, I also told him, you are still going to be very important to us, he said. Uh, that has come true and I have also indicated to him to think less in positions but mainly in possibilities on the pitch having a completely different type of striker with him than brian broby i see as a great luxury kudus mohammed scored on tuesday night but unfortunately his side were thumped by napoli 6-1 he continued his goal scoring form but it did not help his team to at least secure a point they now sit third in the group with just three points in the champions league and talking about kudu scoring in the champions league uh, first Ghanaian to score in three successive champions league games kudus mohammed has that enviable record consecutively he has scored a goal or assist in the last few games they've played here and kudus mohammed is the one who is leading that pack great start there great night for him not so great because his team uh, did lose in the end but ultimately individually he got his goal albeit fortuitous but you have to be in the right place at the right time to get those kind of goals but it was unfortunate that his side were thumped i'll end with dogs of uh, uh yeah Preko here who is of the opinion that there is no need to make changes in the technical team as the black stars he believes otoado is the man to the job he said and i quote him here it's just 46 days to the world cup and making any change now will be a problem otoado uh, can get people to beef up the technical team if he requests for it the technical team is capable of fixing the problem uh, coach yaprek wadi the Ghanaians will get a fair idea about otoado squad in the last friendly game versus switzerland and uh, so now people are not confident, some are optimistic, uh, cautiously, uh, cautious optimism is a numb word. Let me know your thoughts and comments box on everything. I've been talking to you about Kudus Mohammed, how he was convinced to stay, Daniel Kofi Chere on his expectations ahead of Qatar 2022, also talking about the retirement of Kudra Samoa, a great midfielder for the Black Stars. I'll see you guys in the next one. Enjoy your day.